one. Hello, Mr. Johnston. Hello, Mr. Davies. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very well, thanks. Very well. Excited Glad to see your lesson and see what's going on. to see your hair time. is growing. That's the most important bit, uh, thing. Getting through, it's getting through. Mine's getting longer and longer. <laughs> and my golden locks. You should get your kids to cut it. <laughs> no, I'm not getting one of the children to cut it. You're five year old. <laughs> Right, um, thank you for joining me uh, as my special guest this, uh, this week. Um, we have been doing some work as authors and I thought you might be able to help me, but I thought I'd just show you what we've been doing. Yeah. Um, uh, and we've been doing our work over five days. So this will be, you're going to help me with the day five, even though the children, because it is we're recording this on Tuesday, have just done day two. Okay. So on, uh, Day one, they were describing a scene with some characters. Day two, they're going to, they have written the conversation. Uh, day three, they're going to find out what's in the tunnel. I'll show you the picture in a minute. And on day four, they're going to exit the tunnel. And we're going to work today on doing a bit of editing and improving. So I'm going to show you the picture. You can tell me what you think of the picture. And there it is. You like that? Ah, oh, that's a nice picture. Very so. Uh, maybe it's either so it's either set in winter or it's a kind of cold country. Um, really nice. Is that a tunnel? Oh, there's the tunnel behind it. Yeah, the yeah. tunnel. Yeah. So um, I wonder what that man and the woman are doing. Did they just find that child? Well, that's the whole thing. We're leaving it up to the children because I wasn't quite sure whether they're a family group, whether they're three friends. Uh, if they've come out of the tunnel or are going into the tunnel, we decided they'd be going into the tunnel. And yes, okay. children can decide where it is or what time of year. I think it's winter, obviously. Yeah. But um, yeah, it could be anywhere. So we've Remember been working giving, through that this week. Or we'll yeah, be working through like that. They're giving, they're giving the child a bit of a, a pep talk to get him ready to go into the tunnel. Yes, and that was, I've enjoyed that. My three characters, are, they are friends. So this is uh, Arthur, uh, yeah. this is Gretchen, and this is Mimi. So uh, okay. I like, quite like those three names. Uh, so that, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So I thought um, yep. what I'd do is uh, editing is something that year five sometimes find quite tricky. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to uh, show you what I've written so far. I'm going to read it, and what I'd like you to do is if there's something you think needs changing or whatever, then we'll have a little bit. But because I've given the children, I'm going to go through it, something to do like this. We're going to do something called Pug. Do you know what Pug is, Mr. Johnston? I, I know it's a dog. Um, that's it. There we go. And there's Mr. I told, uh, I think, the, yeah, it looks a little bit of. Uh, there's something about that dog that reminds me of you, Mr. Johnston. The cute eyes? That'll be it, Mr. Johnston. Cute eyes. <laughs> Floppy ears. Um, so, Pug. P is for punctuation. What do you think yeah. U is for? U, um, uh, un, un, oh, understand? Oh. Very good, Mr. Johnston. Yeah. Understand. Yeah, so this is about making sure that we use the right words in the right context, in the right place. Okay, good. Yeah. And G is for, I'm sure you'll get. So G must stand for um, uh, gerbil. <laughs> Not gerbil, although they're a fine nope. animal. Go on, I know you know. G is for. Is it grammar? So look, there we go. Bounces in, G is for grammar. So that's what we're going to be doing today, using pug to correct our writing. Okay. So I'm going to uh, see if I can go and find another screen to share. So I'm just going to come out of here. And I'm going to go into, uh, there we go. Can you see that, Mr. John? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah. I think you might have to change the screen. Uh, let me have a look. Here it is. Let me just see if I can find it. There it is. 
Sure. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So I'm going to read it in my best acting voice, which uh, I know you like. Um, and if you think there's something that needs to be changed or improved or I've missed something out, could you just put your hand up rather like than that. shouting out? Uh, <laughs> year five, no, I do not like people shouting out. I'm not allowed to clap. You are allowed to ooh and ah if you think it's brilliant. Okay, but lip shut. Hand lip up. shut. Yeah. I will be kind of watching at the corner of my eye. Okay, here we go. Whistling softly through the tunnel, the wind cut through the three... Give me a chance, Mr. Johnson, already. What is the matter? Well, you've already made a mistake. So, whistling softly through the tunnel, comma, the wind cut through. Okay, so I've missed a comma out. There's your punctuation. Punctuation for my pug, okay. You start with printed adverbial, so you need a comma afterwards. Yeah. Okay. A fronted adverbial phrase, yes. Whistling softly through the tunnel, the wind cut through the three figures that braced themselves against the cold. Around them, the snow continued. Yes, what is it now? So again, you start with a prepositional phrase, around them, so you need a comma after them. Okay. Around them, the snow continued to swirl and now settled, oh no, reached to their ankles. However, with a comma, the bitter weather was nothing compared to their fear and trepidation that they knew they had to overcome if the journey was to continue. Before them lay the tunnel, its mouth open, ready to swallow them whole. That's a nice paragraph, that was good. Okay, nice introductory I like paragraph. I like the mouth being open, nice bit of personification there. Yeah, that is a little bit of personification, that bit there. Yeah. Okay. Hanging in the night air was the smell of rubbish. It could only be coming from one... Yes, what is the matter now? Hanging in the air was the smell of rubbish. Can you... Is there a better word than rubbish? Um, I don't know. Rubbish. Um, I can understand that. It's... I don't know. Um, could we change that to... Hanging in the night air was the smell of... How about... Decay. Yeah, that sounds good. I like decay. Okay. That's good. Hanging in the night air was the smell of decay. It could only be coming from one place. As the feeble lamplight flickered, casting weak shadows around them, they waited for someone to break the silence. Ooh, good tension building. I like okay. It. The three strange friends cautiously approached the tunnel entrance. The snow softly crunched like a muffled cereals beneath their tentative feet. You didn't like that one. What was wrong with that, Mr. Johnston? The snow softly crunched like a muffled cereals beneath their tentative feet. Okay. Like, uh, well, so the snow softly crunched like muffled cereal beneath okay. their tentative feet. Would sound better. Three strange friends cautiously approached the tunnel entrance. The snow softly crunched like muffled cereal beneath their tentative feet. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. Okay, let me have a go, um, next bit. You first, spoke Arthur, trying to sound, what is it, Mr. Johnston? I got no idea. Yeah. So you're going back to punctuation, so you've, so you've got a, someone speaking, so you first, comma, uh, then the, yeah. the, the in, inverted commas, speech marks. Oh, inverted, yes, okay. You first word. spoke, Arthur, trying to sound confident, looking past... What? Yeah? Sorry. You first spoke, Arthur, comma, trying to sound confident, looking past the others. Okay. Neither of his friends answered, partly through fear, but more because they were... They were both unsure who the order had been aimed at. Uh, well, it isn't going to be me, came the response from... Gretchen, what is it, Mr. Johnston? Uh, so you've got a oh, you got a new speaker. So uh, new speaker, new uh, line. New, speaker, new line, new line. New line, put it down. There we go. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, well, it isn't going to be me, came the response from Gretchen. Being the oldest, she was confident the others would not push her too much. 
on this point. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop there, Mr. Johnston. Um, I reckon you've just changed about or improved my writing with about seven, maybe eight different things that you've come up with. Yeah, I think about seven. Um, generally, though, really good. I like your descriptions, really nice. I think a couple of them um, cast a really good image in my head of what I was, um, what I was seeing. It was really good. Um, yeah, but just generally, little bits of punctuation and um, uh, grammar as well, which um, you needed to, to change. But apart from that, it was really good. Enjoy. Okay, well, um, thank you for that, Mr. Johnson. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go away and think about reading the rest of my work because, yeah, it is this thing where year five does do, year five will sometimes do this, which is not read their work aloud or carefully. They think they've done it perfectly, just like I did. So what I'd really like year five to do is to make sure they make their changes as well. Yeah, then, read, definitely read it out loud, even if you read it aloud to an adult or someone in your house, and they, they when they hear it, they'll be able to tell you, you know, where the errors are. Yeah, it is difficult. Sometimes you think you've written something and it doesn't quite work, but um, yeah, we'll yeah. have a go at that. Okay, Mr. Johnson, thank you very much for your time. And I hope to see you very soon. And you, take care. Enjoy take the rest care. of your story. Enjoy writing it. I will do. Thanks Thank you. Much. Bye. Bye.